Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of the guest cap by Takashi Hiraid. So as always, I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end, so... Dane reads... A couple in their 30s live in a small rented cottage in a quiet part of Tokyo. They work at home as freelance writers. They no longer have very much to say to one another. One day, a cat invites itself into their small kitchen. She is a beautiful creature. She leaves, but the next day comes again, and then again and again. New small joys accompany the cat. The days have more light and colour. Life suddenly seems to have more promise for the husband and wife. They go walking together, talk and share stories of the cat and its little ways, play in the nearby garden. But then something happens that will change everything again. The Guest Cat is an exceptionally moving and beautiful novel about the nature of life and the way it feels to live it. The book won Japan's Kiyama Shohai Literary Award and was a bestseller in France and America. Now what I will say is my friend Neil's book club read this book and um, they all hated it. But then none of those are freelance writers or cat people as far as I know. So maybe that's why I, I got a little more out of it than they did. So let's look at some tabs. So the first tab... Uh, was a use of the word jokingly, which I can't stand. It's an unnecessary adverb, but hey ho. Maybe that was the translator throwing that in. I don't know if such a word exists in Japanese. He talks about because he's a freelance writer, he spends his life uh, facing a desk till late in the night, which is something I could relate to. And this, I don't know, this made me not like the character, you know. There are a few cat lovers amongst my close friends, and I have to admit there have been moments when that look of excessive sweet affection oozing from around their eyes has left me feeling absolutely disgusted. Having devoted themselves to cats, body and soul, they seem at times utterly indifferent to shame. And he says, uh, I had heard from one of my cat lover friends that playing with a ball was something that cats only did when they are still kittens. Well, my cat still does that and he's like seven and he so this is when he's talking about his he has a full-time job that he's in before he goes freelance uh, and i thought this was funny because i kind of experienced this as a full-time job but i actually find this happens even more as a freelancer time passed as i slowly built up the courage to resign from the publishing job i had kept for the last few years often work-related situations would find me out on the town where there was non-stop drinking and then on the weekends i would while away the hours playing baseball I began to feel that I was throwing away the time I needed to work on my own writing. The days seemed to rush by faster and faster, and my work as an editor, supporting the writing efforts of others, began to make less and less sense. That just gets worse when you're a freelancer, not better. He says, looking back on it now, I'd say one's 30s are a cruel age. At this point, I think of them as a time I wild away, unaware of the tide that can suddenly pull you out. And we get this, uh, talking about the cats. Uh, my wife says that on another day, she saw them together for a long time, deep in conversation on the other side of the wooden fence on the north end of the property, just below the knot hole through which the images of passers-by always appeared. They weren't meowing together in a matter-of-fact way. It seemed more like they were intimately discussing their personal lives. But isn't it true, at least I've heard, that cats don't meow at each other. They only ha uh, meow at human beings. Basically, the cat dies, very sad, and the guy wants to go and visit it. Um, and he goes, I wonder where it all comes from, this need to go to the place where the body has been laid to rest. It's the need to reconfirm how precious someone was and how irreplaceable, and the desire to reconnect with them on a different plane. And then after that, I didn't actually tab anything else out because I didn't find anything particularly interesting. Uh, it basically sort of switches in tone and, and turns to be, uh, it's all about like how people uh, deal with grief and also like the role of families and cats and pets and all of this stuff in Japanese society. Overall, there was some pretty interesting stuff in this, both from like a cat lover point of view and a freelance writer point of view, although I can definitely see why this wouldn't be for everyone. But again, it's not super long, so I think it is worth picking up. I gave The Guest Cat by Takashi Hiraid a 3.5 out of 5. So there we have it. That's what I made of The Guest Cat by Takashi Hiraid. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.